think we played well to really open the game with our hard pressing at the start. Yep. I think once we took the lead, we sort of calmed down a bit with the press. Yep. And I think that really hurt us when they scored the equalizer two minutes later. Yep. And they really put the pedal to the metal then. They were much more attacking. They were getting better chances. And at half, I think they made some very good technical changes while they didn't make any substitutions. Yep. They were able to score a good second half goal with Bernstein, I believe his name was. Yep. Um, and with that goal really made a big effect on the game and with the changes Atlanta made. Uh, keeping in Mears, I think, was a mistake. Yeah. Um, I don't have a problem with Mears playing, but today he was very predictable. Yeah. And his biggest issue was that he was just making bad passes. He was moving really slow, and he could not keep with the players, and he was trying to do some skill moves that he was not really that good at. Um, obviously tying it up with the penalty drawn by Carlton and the penalty taken by Gressel was a big moment. But in the end, it all came down to one final chance that Poku just chipped right by Khan, which is basically unstoppable with the way Khan was on the ground. And that really hurts. But it's a heartbreaking loss losing in the last seconds of stoppage time. But for the lineup we fielded with a lot of our starters and main 11 left at home, I feel like it was a very good performance. While it would have been nice to have won or at least gone to extra time, yeah. it was a solid performance by the 11 out there, and I really think Andrew Carlton really showed his worth in this game. Yeah. Uh, do you chalk it down to maybe uh, inexperience as an 11 playing together um, that we couldn't, uh, you know, create more chances to, uh, you know, get in the box and actually finish them, or like, uh, what do you what do you kind of boil that down to? You think? Um, I believe the reason we did not really pulled out today was the lack of experience. I think playing a lot more younger players such as Subbing and Kunga and Ambrose, although to be fair, Walks is not that old either. Um, Subbing and Kunga and Walks and really playing Carlton good minutes today, I think was a big deciding factor. Yeah. Having a back line that did not play together very often with Walks playing with Mears, um, Bloom and Gonzalez Pierre as the captain today. Yeah. I think that really hurt our chances of winning Obviously, an MLS side usually beats an NASL side in general, but I think with the lineup, as I said, fielded, it makes a lot more sense that we did not win this game. I think had we fielded our normal starting 11, it would have been a much closer, I think we really would have won that game. Yeah. And I believe that with the younger players, I think it gives them a good experience to battle back from a tough loss, yeah. and it gives them a good experience against a solid NASL side who is the first place team. Right. And it gives um, our main starters rest for the game this weekend against Columbus. With our tough schedule, seven games in 21 days makes a big difference on who you're going to play. Uh, do you think Tata should have uh, instead, you know, um, rested them on uh, on Saturday instead, and then brought more of the veterans for today, and then play more for a uh, Wednesday, Tuesday uh, type of thing, or uh, do you think? You know, this was the right call. I believe this was absolutely the right call. While I think the Open Cup is a very storied and historic thing, yeah. it makes sense because it's not the end of the world that we don't get to go to the um, CONCACAF Champions League this yeah. first year. And while and we're really trying to aim for an MLS playoff run and saving these guys for a big game in Columbus, given how, how lackluster our road performances have been, makes a huge difference. And I believe the fact saving Parker, Yosef, Yamil and Miguel really will play a big part in helping us potentially win a big game on Saturday against Columbus. Yeah. So uh, with Columbus uh, coming up, um, how do you see that result going? I believe it's going to be a draw. I, given the fact that we're on the road and we've not performed well, yeah. it's going to be a really tough game as Columbus is a very good home team. With players such as Ola, Kamara, Higuain, they have a really solid attack, and I believe the reason we won 3-1 at home was because of our home fans. I really believe that had it been at a neutral site, it would have been a much closer game, and I think being at their home turf will give them a strong advantage. I believe we'll be able to squeak out a draw, but it's going to be a very close game. Yeah. Uh, so any final thoughts on, uh, on this game as a whole? Like, uh, you know, anything that we could have done better or anything like that? Um, I only had one problem with Tata's thing, is I would have liked to have seen Harrison Heath not be subbed in for Julian Gressel. I believe Gressel has been playing a solid game. Yes, he might have been a bit gassed, but that defense substitution, I believe, really hurt our attacking prowess and our moving forward and pressing. Yeah. However, overall, it was a great game. It was very fun, exciting, obviously a heart-wrenching loss, but Atlanta United, we're, sh we're putting ourselves on the map, and we're going to continue to show that we're going to become a star team in the MLS. Yeah.